All right, path eight point or act eight point one point one. Once again, <laughs> yeah, active nose this time around. Give me shelter, cosmic grit, true lies, and subterfuge special. Basically, break it down. Give me shelter, sixty percent chance to auto block, which is ten percent more than the last path I did, but whatever. Um, which is decreased for every buff you have on you. Cosmic Grit, my favorite note in the entire game, I'm not even gonna lie. Basically gives you an aptitude buff for every single, um, you know, duplicate of, like, an armor up, a fury, or a precision buff that you have. Which, while using Angela, you get a lot of. Um, True Lies is, you know, just, you reduce your auto block ability, accuracy, whatever, for every true sense, but I don't use those, so it doesn't matter. And then subterfuge special, which is basically just gives you fear for your every special you do. Not really necessary considering my MVP for this entire path is my girl Angela. Gains buffs like crazy, so I don't ever have to worry about giving me shelter. It's basically just like fighting bunching bags. And with all the aptitude buffs, these armor breaks go crazy, my furies go crazy, and rockets down in under a minute. <laughs> which is absolutely insane. <laughs> I love cosmic grit so much. Um, Venom's also here because he gains a decent amount of buffs, so let's Cersei. Odin's here to give pre-fights to Angela so she can have three buffs at the very start of the fight, as well as her, you know, starting armor up buffs when she hits the defender. Guaranteeing her at the very least four to five every every um, beginning of the fight, which means that Jimmy's shelter is essentially deactivated as soon as the fight begins. Venom, when he's awake in the way I do have him now, also gains two to three every beginning of the fight, which means give me shelter if it has two, it's a very low chance, or three, none at all, to activate, so I don't have to worry about it. Cersei, she gains buffs, all you have to do is start the fight with a heavy, she'll get a glancing buff, and you can start building your transmutations, you know, medium, medium, you get two per um, medium, medium combo, or it's just medium ending combos, but if you're going to build buffs to stop giving me shelter, just do medium, mediums. Odin gets a start of fight buffs, as long as he's in Odin sleep, but I don't use him, he's not necessary. He is good, I do enjoy using him, but Angela just ramps so much better with Cosmic Grit than anything else. Um, purely because of how fast she gains the buffs that work with it. Um, below one bar powers armor ups, above a bar powers the Furies, which start gaining us the Cosmic Grit aptitudes. Um, I guess I was wrong before, it's not armor ups that give it to you, it's the Furies. but. Um, fears and precisions, I should say. Venom d does kind of work with it as well. However, um, he needs you need to be lucky. It's entirely RNG. You can manipulate it with heavies. You know, change the buff that you got, but it's it's painfully slow and painfully. You know, I'm not lucky enough for that. I can't. I can't. You know, spend time worrying about. Oh, let me just wait for the buff that I need. No, I'd rather just use Angela, my brand new shiny six star Angela. I finally ranked up to an actually usable level above my 5 star, which I have been using for so long. <laughs> um, so I can actually, you know, just get this, this path done super duper quickly. As you can see, I'm already done with god knows how many fights. <laughs> and already on this Taskmaster. I believe this is fight number 4. Um, Taskmaster is a little funky, just because all the debuffs and the parries and all the armor breaks make his... Um, Ability accuracy reduction is debuff immunity, you know, happening a lot quicker. But, you know, you can just kind of slug through it, it's all good. <laughs> just practice those intercepts or make sure you just punish his specials. Doesn't have to worry, you don't have to really worry about anything else. Um, Claire isn't here for the path itself, she's more here for the boss at the end. I'm going to be taking down Strife, who, um, to be honest, I don't remember now, but at the time, she seemed like a good option. I don't remember the nodes, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> But it's, it's, I'm recording this three weeks after I even finished this path. By this point, everything I'm, I'm like the future man. I'm a tray from the future. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. Taskmaster fight is probably the longest one in this entire video, at least for the path itself purely because of his debuff immunity and the fact that I can't just parry to victory. These aptitudes um, can only do so much for me when I, when I can't even hit him correctly. But you know, 30k crit on a medium, almost there, and a 20k, crit, 20k normal hit. I'm doing pretty well for myself, even my hits into block are doing at the very least 3k, 4k. So he is going down, you just gotta you know, just take a while, bait out his special attacks, take him down. But. 
I don't know, not much to say for this bath. I really did like this bath a lot, just because of how simple it is, given I have so many of these cosmics that work well with it. Because all you really need are cosmics that can gain buffs in order to beat this path. Or at least a good number of buffs that work with cosmic grit, so avoid using cosmics that you only give like one or two buffs, like, I don't know, Venom Pool. I know, Venom Pool would work, it just it would take a while because you need to get all the way up to this. You need to get all his, you know, his unique buffs, and then you start getting the Furies, and you finally get your aptitudes, but... Eh. Eh. It's just not as fast. It's just not as fast. Hercules would also be good, but you have to get the special one. And it's just, it's not as fast. Yeah, he's got big damage, but it's not fun. <laughs> not the way this is. Um, taking on this Nimrod, though, it does get a little dicey, just because I, for whatever reason, decide, yeah, I'm gonna hit into his Unstoppable. And then I get pushed to special 3, which means, yeah, I get this 2 extra aptitudes, but they don't scale as well as ones from Cosmic Grit. And thank god I have... Angela awakened, so I could stop, you know, Nimrod shocks from actually doing any damage to me because their duration is basically down to zero. Don't have to worry about it at all. Um, I don't know. It's just like a non-issue almost, but eh. <laughs> I don't know. I keep saying that, but like, there's not much to say about this path. You know, I, I, I get him to bait his, you know, I bait out a special one so he can place those debuffs on me. Um, you know, the non-damaging ones. That Angela does not reduce the duration of in order to you know heal from willpower. Dodge is unblockable, special too. It's not very difficult to dodge. Make sure I don't hit him while he's unstoppable again. And you know, try to slowly heal back all the health that I lost. He did make it so that my heals, as you can see, the little purple icon above my um of my health bar, makes it so that I can't, you know. You know, I should be healing every time while this, you know, ticks down, but alas, he is stopping it. <laughs> and as a result, I am not healing to where I should be. And I push into special three like an idiot and get absolutely smacked in the floor. Bye-bye, Angela. Let's go. No worries, though. Only two more fights, just this Nimrod and an Apocalypse. Finish it out with Venom because he's below 15% health, which means Venom gets his little damage boost. I say it like it really changes anything. He's got 3% health left. I could finish it with anybody. Could have finished it with Groot. Let's be real. <laughs> Dude, Groot with the Groot with the aptitude buffs? Dude, those 4k crits gonna go crazy. <laughs> yeah, APOC now. And I take in Venom once again. Sure, his bleeds are gonna get stopped because he's gonna like go bleed immune or whatever. But, you know, he's my second best option for for this cosmic grit because I don't feel like stressing about Cersei's rotation. <laughs> and with anything, you can just kind of turn your brain off and just focus on tanking damage off of Apocalypse Specials. Cersei is better for this though, I will admit, just because she can heal off of her special too. Something I wish I had remembered <laughs> going into this fight because look at all that damage I just took. If it were Cersei, it'd all be healed up, but no. I just gotta slug through it. Venom's already at 8 aptitudes, because that special 2 transfers everything into a Fury, which gives him an aptitude for every Fury buff he just got, so... It is useful. Like, there is, like, a way to get his things up, where you can just keep dexing or whatever, if you get a precision. Like, it's possible, it's just, it's, I don't know, slower. It's slower than Angela. Yeah, because Angela's a 6 star, even as a 5 star, it's slower. Venom is just, I don't know. I do have a 6 star, I just never really ranked them up. I always had other options, or other, like, priorities. Because I pulled, what was it, I pulled Venom and Angela pretty much around the same time, like, within a week of each other. And so Angela obviously took priority, because she is my favorite champion in this game. L by and large, like, my favorite. Um, even if, like, you know, she's not as powerful as other ones. You can bring her into practically anything and she'll have some kind of use for those paths aside from like, you know, paths that stop her buffs from occurring or like siphon her buffs, she will have a use from her ramping damage and her pseudo debuff immunity um, as well as armor breaks which help her a lot for some like tech nodes even because most tech nodes are like, oh you have to deal armor breaks so you have to have armor ups. And you can get around all that because she just <laughs> She just substitutes in, so it's, it's not the best option for those nodes, but she can work for them. Which is why I enjoy using her so much, just because she has so much use versatility and utility. Um, 
unlike champions like Venom, where it's like, oh, if they don't bleed, then your fight's gonna take forever, like this Apocalypse one is. Or if your buffs are gone, you are going to do like maybe 600 damage a hit at best. Like, look at these. Remember, Angelo's hitting for like 30k. Meanwhile, Venom's sitting here with 10 aptitudes. He's doing like maybe 6k, 7k. Like, it's, it's a very big difference. And Venom is like slowly losing health the more damage I'm blocking. I could be dodging his specials, but I just don't want to risk, like, you know, losing all my health again the way I did before. Um, because I would have an extra, like, 40% health to work with here if I had not taken his special one to the phase earlier. Was it special one? It wasn't worth, I don't remember. Um, you can tell I totally wrote out the script, you know, I totally, <laughs> totally not just, like, talking as I'm watching it back. No, sir. <laughs> but... Yeah, getting these Fury Buffs again so I can actually do some decent damage. Look at that, Venom got a 15k crit. Good for him. Half of what Angela could have done. And also, not to mention, Angela gets stronger the longer the quest is, because, which is also why she's so great in Incursions, because with Odin, is uh, Odin synergy for every fight that the team wins, her buffs get like, was it 5% stronger? I think. Then maybe 15, I don't remember, but they get stronger. That's the, that's the main thing. But I'm swapping out Odin for Doom now because Angela's dead, it won't matter anyway. And I gotta finish off the bosses in this little island, so I'm taking on Strife. Um, here, like, take a look at the nodes. So this is Biotic Adoption, which is Ruptured V-Buffs, and as long as it's suffering from Incinerate, which Claire does give off. Um, which we'll call it, it doesn't it doesn't hurt you, you don't get those incinerates, and could be using other options, but I feel like Claire's more sustainable considering she can flip into her bleed mode to heal anything, any damage she gets. Meanwhile her incinerates just go into damage mode. It's kinda useful and way better than say like, you know, a torch would be good. A torch would be good. However, going into Nova or getting up to max temperature, just to, you know, so you don't miss strife. Um it's risky because then you don't have those incinerators since you start getting those ruptures. Um, and it's just, it's not as safe as Claire would have been. Like, yes, Torch would be faster, but I don't know. I'm honestly not very good with Torch. Like, no matter how much I try, I will consistently, like, do worse with Torch than I would any other champ, even if it's, like, a favorable Torch matchup, unless it's against, against Mephisto, purely because Mephisto is just such an easy matchup for Torch. As long as you don't push him to special three. <laughs> but yeah, so like I've already taken a bunch of damage, but all of that can and probably will be healed. Um, by the time I get back up to my special two, I'll have to do a cycle from incinerate mode into bleed mode. And I'm like legitimately like chilling. I don't even have to worry about it at all. Um, and you know, absolutely godlike reflexes by me. Strife goes fucking phase is in the middle of my thing. And I didn't go to heal mode. Interesting. Interesting pass tray. I would not have done that now. <laughs> I don't know. I've been doing a lot more work with Clara lately. Just trying to, you know, get better with her. So I've had her for a long time. I got both her six star and her five star within like a week of each other. Just same as with Angela and Venom. It just seems to happen sometimes. But so I've been like, I've had them ranked up for a while. I just haven't really used them to their full potential. Like I'm not really doing the best with her here. I'm staying alive. I'm doing okay. I just could be doing a lot more. I'm just trying to keep these incinerators up so I don't get ruptured because these ruptures are kind of hurting if I get more than one. One is fine because I heal from willpower more than they damage me, but get like two or three and I'm starting to take damage again. It's just not worth it. And all I gotta do is just watch out for Strife going phase mode because I don't know what triggers it, if I'm being honest. All I can see is when he starts to go phase and all I can do is just hope to god I don't get hit, you know? And apparently, I just, I don't, <laughs> I guess I just don't, um, ever try to heal at all. That's what it seems like, which is fair, I guess. I don't think I'd, you know, heal much anyway, but, you know, there I go taking a special one to the face. After playing that fight near perfectly, except when the other special took to the face. But, you know, just going back in with Doom, he's my end-all be-all when it comes to Mystic Champions, as of right now, anyway. Um... Dude just kind of cracked and you don't have to worry about this node just because he doesn't really care about the ruptures because all he, I'm not like hitting him enough for the ruptures to continuously trigger on me. I'm just doing parry heavy or parry medium heavy, I guess, so I can trigger those shocks. But end of the day, it just it it's it's okay. It's fine. It's a slow fight. 
I'm staying topped up because I'm not. I'm trying not to stay. Or I'm trying not to get too many ruptures, so I don't. I don't take too much damage off of them. I'm letting them slowly fall off of me one by one as I'm doing this, in order to prevent myself from like starting to lose health from the ruptures. Cause yeah, like they stop my ability accuracy. But like whatever, <laughs> whatever. Who cares? <laughs> um, staying topped up, doing the strat. It's uh definitely interesting. I'm definitely doing this on the fly. Very slow. Very much. Not optimal, <laughs> but hey, if it works, it works. What can I say? We just have to slowly work through the this strife's giant health pool he's got here. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm cycling special twos. Could go for special three for the fury, but instead I'm choosing to go for the incinerates off the special two. So because that plays into his incinerate, incinerate vulnerability node. Not that these incinerates are lasting long enough, nor am I doing anything while he's incinerated, but. Maybe so he does. He is taking more damage, which means those incinerates are taking for more because the first one, because they don't apply all at the same time, which means the second two incinerates are hitting for more damage than the first one is, because um, which one called they they trigger the building ability with the first one, means the second two are just you know they have that 200% increased damage which stacks onto itself. It means that I get to deal absolutely bonkers damage with incinerates off the special two, because like sure my basic attack's not doing too much right now, but. Those special twos go crazy. And of course I get rude and lose a bunch of my health because I actually don't remember where the root comes from. <laughs> I don't think I did here. I was just, I was just kind of in shock. But it's all good. This strife once again goes cloaked, but my special two can so just cloak. And yeah, as you can see, like the the other two incinerates are taking for about 2k, while the first one's only taking for about 1k. Kind of proving my little theory. But that's that path done.